All right, now, y'all are going to see some really unique discoveries that Kira found out, and it's to do with these. And this thing here is 45 bucks, but we're going to show you something really impressive. One of the most impressive things, though, is her. And what I'm going to say to you is if y'all have looked at a previous video, watch your head, hon. She got a little spun out over a very crazy individual calling her. So, my dear, what did you decide to do about it? I toughened up. And you decided to do what? I made my, I'm, I'm going to make my own YouTube channel. And I'm what, still and, working on it. And what are you going to do on your YouTube channel? Knitting videos. Knitting? But, I mean, you're, you're young. Aren't you supposed to, like, be running around on the beach with a bikini smoking funny stuff? Oh, no. No. No bikinis and makeup for me. Do you, you don't wear makeup? No, I never have. Never wore makeup? Oh, my. Okay, so what are you going to show them that you're going to put on your channel? My knitting. Your, your, my work. Your knitting. This. Whoa. Yep. This I'm going to be working on this for my first video, though. Her first video has got a what? What's it going to be called? It's going to be a mesh sweater. A what? A mesh sweater. A mesh sweater. Yeah, it's kind of a sweater that goes over your t-shirt and it looks cool. Ain't that something? So, you guys... You guys, y'all will see a link at some time underneath my videos and in a com community, mm -hmm. and she will share. That's actually her Ko-Fi. So go down, look down there. It said Ko-Fi John for Kira. That's for her. Y'all want to help her get going, help her get more of that stuff. She lost, She a lot of her money went towards medical bills that she saved up and almost everything I had saved up. It was like $6,000 for a night and put us in the hole. I guess that's what her terrorist wanted her to have was that. He wanted to hurt her like that, wanted to hurt the family. So uh, since then, they've ran scared. The FBI has done looking them up. So, I mean, apparently they're going to be handled at some point. They're yeah. just watching them. Y'all stay tuned. Go back two or three videos, and you'll see that one about why we have this going on. And um, I'm going to show you something. $168.69. These are different prices, but this is what's going to blow your mind. These now are under $15, but I'm going to show you something, what she discovered with this little setup that you can do and you're going to love this you're going to love this and i'll explain why here in just a few we'll stay be, tuned we'll be right back All right, as you saw there in the beginning, we've done a setup for BMSs. That is a battery management system. Now, what that does is, of course, if you don't know anything about it, it helps a LiPo4 battery, a lithium iron phosphate battery. It helps that battery keep its cells balanced. If they don't stay balanced, you'll get de a, a degradation. They'll degrade one or the other, and you wasted your money. So I'm going to show you something that's going to be a little bit like, why didn't they do that before? It's because every one of these things here have proprietary data and computer chips and all that crap in them. This one, it don't. And you're going to be like, well, why does the hell that matter? That's thing is $15. It's not even big as this. Well, of course not. That's a 250. That's 180 amp. And this one here is a 200 amp. This one here is almost $170. That's a money. <laughs> These are now about 15 bucks. Look under the link, under the video. I'm going to put a link to these. You don't have to buy this one. You can, but you don't have to. And you'll see what they've done. And you'll see in their ads what they've got. And it'll make you understand this more. But Kira caught this. She asked when she's looking it up, trying to find one for her 36-volt uh, battery. And just months ago. And she's like, why is this is the same board? Hey, hey, Dad, that board you bought for those batteries? I found the same board, but it's two of them. And I said, well, show me. And she did. And this has been, I don't know, maybe November. And I figured out when I'm building something now, I figured I better show people this. They're not going to realize that these boards do not have a problem with parallel usage. So parallel usage would be if I took this battery here. Okay, this is a Chen's battery. I had two of them. So I was officially Johnny Two Chins for a while, all right? But my second chin, 
uh, I guess due to diet or something, it's gone now, and I've just got the one chin. And yeah, I'll still go by Johnny Two Chins. You know, Thug Life's not bad for me. So, um, if you look down here, you see that that's a standard 12.8 200 amp hour, and it does have a 200 amp BMS in it. So it's both, kind of like the Power Queen battery. Now, it's as not as good a battery as these Li Times, and I'll put a link below the video for these because this one. This one is a 100 amp hour battery, not much bigger than a tiny, a little 30 amp. I mean, it's it's freaking small for a 100 amp hour battery, and they're affordable. So I'll put a link to that. But here's the deal: because of proprietary software and IC chips and other things that are in these, that means that you can only get two batteries that'll work with that together. So, I mean, you better make it count. You can only do one battery. That's it. If I had four of these, I can't put four batteries together. They don't agree because they have a computer in them, basically. Same thing here. That's what's inside here. Down in there is a little microchip that says, I don't like you. So, this is not going to agree with this one. I can't put them together, which means it's a total waste. So, if I take this one and I put it on here, it's worthless. Now, if I put four of these batteries together, well, hell, I've only got 180 amp. So I've got four of these $15 right here. That's that's these. And we're going to show you something neat about these, too. So don't run off. This is like three bucks. This right here is $15, and it's 100 amp. And if you check the diameter of the cabling inside or the clad, it's capable of 100 amp. Now, it'll do continuous 85 or so. And that's all you need. You just need something that can handle that surge. It'll surge at 250, so it's fine. Now, these things here, they're limited by their chip in them. Literally. You want to put a circuit breaker involved in your system once you build it using these. It's cheap. They're like eight bucks, you know, little DC circuit breakers. Um, get you some 80 ampers and line them all out. But here's the cool thing I can take that battery and that battery. And that bad, I could just take every one of these batteries. And if I just use these, every one of these batteries can be utilized. Doesn't matter. Now, there is Off Grid Garage. He's a guy down in Australia. Um, he's gone through a lot of hell with BMSs because of this crap. He's blown a lot of dough. But Kira had me buy this one as a proof of concept fact. I think I might have mentioned it in a video before. But we're going to get into the details of it and why it's what it is. So we're going to bring it over here and we're going to show you that this here, I'm going to grab this lens here. I've got this magnifier. And we're going to show you here that the only thing that separates this one from the rest is this bridged design right here. So those are just standard tinned copper tabs that are just soldered from one identical board to another. And no, it's not programmed at all to work as two. If you'll notice the cables, you see that? Now she ordered this one with the cables on it. The one without the cables is only $5 cheaper. It's not, you know, it's no problems. 42 bucks versus actually what, 350 cheaper. I think this is 45, 40 or something. So, I mean, that, that's not a big difference, but this is what is the discovery that you're going to love. Now, these have a, a 4 watt per battery balancer. This has a 5 watt. Okay, if you're in constant use of your batteries, who gives a damn about a balancer? Balancers are a joke. If you're in use of your battery, you don't really need a balancer because you're always in cycle of charge. All right, so don't, don't waste your money on that crap. If you must have a balancer... That right there is two bucks, three bucks for that. It's 100 amp, really 50, okay? And it is an active balancer, but it's only an active balancer when the battery is in full state of charge. Those balancers that they sell, they'll balance your battery till it's freaking dead, just like the Bouge battery. That's why they were dead. They had an internal balancer in them. It killed them. So their batteries couldn't recover right, all right? Don't buy a Bouge, Bouge booger whatever yellow okay. top battery i'd say booger. booger booger exactly dear so all right i'm gonna let kara film because as you guys know i don't I'm drink i'm a professional i don't drink and if i drank i might be more stable 
but Maybe. I'm kind of rough. She's got Tourette's in her brain. I've got it in my hands. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, so this one right here, as you'll see, it has these bridged together. It's only for the communication of the two boards because they are bridged like this, going to the single battery. Now, the same thing here. What that means is that I can take one, two, and of course, we put these, and they come with the isolators, okay? So, just like this, and if I wanted to, I can just duct tape them together. I don't have to be as exquisite as putting these standoffs in there if I don't want to. You know, I mean, if you're going to go hillbilly, man, you might as well go hillbilly, right? So Don't mess around. Hell no. So I can take that and just notch it out for where I make my wires go through. If you go in there and look at the ads, there's a 300 amp. It's just three of these stacked together and communication going through, all right? As long as you don't exceed the 5.5 amp capability of these, you won't have to worry. And all balancing, if you stack four of these together, exceeds basically right at about 3.9 amps. So you're fine. Now, if you must, if you must do this, I'm going to show you this in just a minute, and you're going to be surprised. A lot of people don't understand building their own batteries. So as she'll show you here, look at that chins up. This, those are the chins batteries. They're supposed to be 100 amp hour. I'm thinking 82. Um, I don't like chins battery at this point because they argued with me and, and I load tested one of them. I never got 200 amp hour. I pulled 178. So, you know, call it what you want. If you got a new model chins battery and it has these battery cells in it, the top band, bat, and maybe it does do that. That one didn't. Okay. Waste of money. I got, mo I got most of my money back. But all right. So, yeah, <laughs> all my money except $74 shipping. How they come up with that freaking number, I'll never know. All right. So, what you're going to do is you're going to disregard, disregard Helltech, JBD, what is this one here? VIP, disregard. You're going to get you a bunch of these. $15 a piece. And I think they'll even give you a discount when you buy like eight of them. You're going to take them and you will join them together. And I'm going to do a real good close up so you can see. And you'll, there is no other connection in here. None. This wire right here is for a switch. This is where you can power your battery on and off. Kill switch. Kill switch. Correct. So you can actually hook this up to a daylight to dark switch for charging cycle, all that kind of. So it's not running a solar inver a solar controller all night because solar controllers will burn five watts power sitting there on. And you can just have a daylight to dark. Turn it off. Now, every one of these will be the same way. You only have to have one, one of the BMS leads that go to your battery cells. And of course, one to your ground, which will be on this side here. This is the side that goes to the battery. That's the side that goes up to your terminals and you'll have it on this side. Now, the only thing we have to do if we want to make a 200 amp for that one is use this. And it'll handle 200 amps. It'll handle continuous of 180 amps, basically, but it'll handle 200 amps in a uh, standard use. All right. And you can tell by the cabling, it's plenty capable of it. The board is heavy and thick, and this is affordable. And you're like, okay, well, man, that don't do enough balancing, man. That's just, that just, just sucks. Well, all right, then let's go do this. You're going to take this, and you see where I'm clipped on here? I'm clipped on here at incoming lead, and I'm going to put this on the negative, and I'll connect all of these, just like you see in this picture here, to the same battery that I've added that to. What did that just do to me? Because this chip and that chip are the same identical chip. They're programmed the same. They are not proprietary, and they're not going to cause you a problem. I can put this one, then this one, then this. It don't matter. So what's the benefit of that? That allows me to put a DC outlet, like cigarette lighter outlets or terminals, to use this BMS to where I save current and usage for running like DC refrigerators and things like that. And then this BMS running to my inverters. Okay. So I can put both these in the same battery case. So look over here. I can put these together and the, they won't matter. The additional thing is, is that I'm getting an additional 2.3 watts of balancing for three bucks. I mean, come on, man. Three bucks. Why would you pay $11 for a, a one amp balancer that kills your battery when that one there 
when it gets down to um, 3.45, it don't try to balance anymore. It disconnects. That's that chip. Same thing. So do not buy balancers. Don't, do, don't waste your money. So I put the price on here when she bought hers. And I actually went in there and looked, and they're $15.30. So this is $15.30. And what you'll do is you'll get yourself some copper ribbon, and you'll just solder it onto here. And you'll put your bolts through or your, your tabs through. And then that way you can put your leads the same way. I don't like the solder part. But if you're running three like this, you probably can. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that I can take three of these. And you just don't worry about these. And you can leave either one. It can be the center one. It can be the bottom one. It can be the top one. The top one's a little easier because then you're kind of embedded. And it makes it easier to do. So I've got my one. Here's my wires. They're just matched to the top. Mean nothing else. I got my two my wires. They'll match straight through. And you know, the something the size of a uh, quarter watt diode will actually handle 6.7 amps. So plenty for, for your balancing. I got my third. Of course, notch out my little yellow stuff there and put it on the top. Now, I've got a 300 amp capacity BMS that has an intake charging capacity of 240 amps right there and i just take all the wires put me three leads just like you see done right here how much did this cost me by the time i'm done 50 bucks you're going to find a 300 amp bms for 50 bucks that that can work with anything i can put these on that i can connect these over here to that I can get another battery and throw it up there and put the same things in it and connect. I could put 50 of these together, 50, a hundred. It doesn't matter because these are all current limited. So they're only going to pull available current. These things here, the reason they tell you not to take and put more than four or six or parallel and series, all these rules is because they're trying to force you to buy their product so when you're looking at this and you're seeing this you're looking at a fact that you're paying 170 bucks right there for one of these this one here at 250 amp its balancing wires are not as heavy as those over there it's not even as heavy these are about 28 gauge and those are 26 why is it like that it don't balance very well but you cannot put this five of these across with five batteries. You can't. I can't take and make myself five of them batteries. I cannot make five of those unless I'm going to join them all together. Big bus bars, all that. If I have one cell goes bad, screw that. It's done. You get it? Mm -hmm. So if I have one cell that goes bad in that one, I lose that much of my battery. But over here, I'm still cooking, man. If I have one cell goes bad in here, this battery just disconnects. The rest keep going. But if I have four of these, stay there. Okay. If I got four of those and one goes bad, the way it communicates back and forth, it shuts every damn thing you got down until you disconnect it. You want to be gone for eight hours, come home, find your refrigerator thawed out? Ooh, freezer. Or your yeah. freezer. All your, all your frozen strawberry daiquiris poured out in the floor and the dog licking them up. Come on, man. You don't want that. Oh, your shortcake. Oh, no. Yeah. So the smartest move you got is to follow simplicity. Don't overcomplicate. And as far as a smart BMS is concerned, I want you to check this thing out. I'll put a link down there for it. You see this? This is a torch, a torch. It's a brand. One thousand amp, one thousand amp Bluetooth communications. Everything you want to know about what's going on, everything with as many of them batteries that can get to a thousand amps of flow. That's that's a hell of a lot of power. That's three three thousand watt power inverters can go through that, and it's very nice. It's got a nice colored LCD display. We'll hook, we're going to be showing this in another video. The other thing is we're going to be showing is
these, and I'll put a link below to them. This has a trigger on it that allows you to bridge connect batteries, lead acid to lithium, dual voltage selection, and it disconnects it so that your lead acid, the reason you can't connect lead acid uh, to lithium batteries is crap. It's a lie. Lead acid is parasitic. The lithium battery doesn't like parasitic loads, but that's because you got that crap in your battery. You'll see when we hook these up, it don't care. It don't care because it's just considering it a load. It's not considering it parasitic. It's considering it just power out. This considers it parasitic. This one, even this one right here, this Helltech, paras it considers that parasitic. Like a, like a short, a short circuit. That's how it treats a lead acid battery. Okay. So this will allow me, daylight to dark switch will energize this one. And this right here is your power positive, and this is also power positive, but this is a switch. So if you put this in your car or your truck, and you hook this right here to your ignition circuit, when you turn your key on, it connects the batteries so that you can get extra starting power, or it connects the batteries. You can actually have it reversed. It'll disconnect the batteries for the same reason. And this is the most brilliant device, 175 amps, 175 amps, and it's solid state. Under 30 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to go down there and look at the link I put for that, aren't you? If you don't quit smoking it, you're going you're gonna to lose your job. So I've given you some great tips. A $3 balancer that does not kill your battery that acts still as another BMS. Look right there. I can hook it up. Just take it, hook it up right there alongside this BMS. It don't care. That's the main thing. That chip is a voltage recognition chip. And it, it, it determines a short circuit. There's a little tiny here. Let me get over here where they can see it. You'll see that where it says switch. It determines an overheat. And then these two right here determine the reset for restart. That's it. And you can wire them in with momentary push buttons. Or you can put a thermal switch in them. Right there, a normally open thermal switch or a normally closed for whatever function you want. See, that's real simple right there. Those are like, I don't know, five for a dollar. So you could even put freeze protection. I can put freeze protection by hooking it onto right here. And I can get a zero on. So at zero degrees Celsius, it connects. It'll turn on. And then I can tap this same thing right here just off the battery with some of these. To just preheat your battery and using the same thermal switch inside that can handle up to six amps this is only one and a quarter amps i can disconnect when it gets up to five degrees celsius you see all the processes work together so stop stop paying six hundred dollars and seven hundred dollars and eight hundred dollars for these pre-made batteries i mean if you want to really just balls to the wall battery well, get a Sun Fun kit. I mean, their prices have dropped. Their, their quality is through the freaking roof. And they do every bit of that. And they don't. He's got his programmed to where you can add more to, more to it and not hurt it. So go to Sun Fun Kits. I'll put a link down there for that. Just go. Just just I'll put you the address to it. Go to Sun Fun Kits if you want to do it yourself and you want to produce something better. These manufactured batteries, you know, like, like the Chins, they, they are not for your best interest. These batteries here are a lot better for your interest because you can put, put up to six of those, all right? And so if you want 600 amps for your RV, that's what most RVs will need. Um, there you go. Get the little tiny battery there. They'll all fit. You can put six of them across the tongue of your average RV. They're that small. So... Y'all pay attention to that little chip right there. And that allows this scenario to exist and that scenario to exist. So, I mean, I can get two of these. I can, in fact, I can gut that 
one right there and put them side by side, run jumpers, run me a couple of them, put them in with these, it won't mean anything. So for, uh, for, my, for my friend down there in Australia at uh, Off Grid Garage, this solves your problem. This solves your big problem. Get you 48 volt versions of that and stop paying through the neck for stuff that they won't let you do as you want to with. They got enough thumbs on our neck, right? And I hope you guys are happy that this little gal here, the wonder child has come up with amazing discoveries because I kind of overlook a lot of that stuff. And she found that I found that So she's hardcore. And y'all better be subscribing to her channel, as I mentioned in the front of this, when it pops up. And how many, how many gals like her do y'all know? Come on. Come on. I mean, they're rare. And uh, I guess I raised her right. So y'all stay tuned. We will be back with more definitions and things. And, you know, I'm sorry I didn't hook them all up for everybody, but this is the obvious. Okay. That's the obvious. And look at that. Okay. All right. So you know what I'm talking about? So what do you got to tell them? Y'all save your money and y'all be good. Ain't that something? She's so right. She's so right. Mm -hmm.